Hey artists, welcome back. I just wanted to do a quick um, showing of what I've done so far in this Batman sculpture. It is taking quite a bit of time and I wasn't expecting it to last this long, but as you can see, I removed the arms of Batman and also the Joker skull that I've been uh, doing. That's a benefit of this sort of oil-based clay. I find that oil-based clay is very similar to wax sculpting. You're mostly removing and scraping away unless you get the clay nice and warm. But the problem is it's very difficult to keep it warm. So one thing I found is this. This is just a heat gun and you can use a blow dryer. And if I just hit it a little bit, one thing that you can do is if you have texture here, for example, you can just hit it really quick and it heats up pretty well and just with that the uh, texture will disappear but I do like the texture in sculpture but this is so far what I have so the cape one thing I am going to do is I'm going to cut the cape so I can scan this separately and I can do this also in uh, the 3D program like Mesh Mixer, but I don't really want to do that. I also want to try and make a plaster cast of this. Now I have some uh, issues here with the leg. This leg, because it um, doesn't have the weight, this has got the weight, it's going to have the hips like this, so I'm trying to do that. I'm trying to like kind of correct that a little bit. But once you have the arms, the right arm is going to be holding up the Joker head. I was thinking about adding a Joker skull with a smile attached to the actual skull, which might have been kind of neat. So the cool thing about that is that I can provide a different version instead of having like the Joker head, which is like a decapitated head. You could have a skull of the Joker. So that's something like up ahead. But it, yeah, it's taking forever. As you can see, I sculpted an eagle, which I believe this is, uh, I got the reference from, it's a the Sears Tower, I believe. It's up on the top. Uh, I was think, thinking about putting like a lion or something, and I will be sculpting just some patterns here. The one thing I'm having kind of like a bit of an issue is like if you look at the base head on, it doesn't have a lot of width to it, and because of the, the, the weight of this, it might collapse. It'll be very top-heavy, and without the lateral kind of support, what might happen is that it could potentially like fall. So I might have to expand the sides just a little bit. And I do not have a solid base. I do have a base, I cut the cereal box, and I put it in here. So that's kind of like just what I have. I wanted to do just a quick video to know, to tell you guys that I am actually working on this. It is just taking forever. I am much faster with water-based clay uh, as, opposed, as opposed to oil-based clay. But after I finish this, I already have a plan to start a water-based clay for a character sculpt. And then I'm going to do a wax-based sculpture just to vary it up. I do need help with this sort of stuff. So. Um, yeah, that's it guys. Just a little update on the Batman sculpture. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.